Hello everybody. This video I'm going to go back to basics. Um, a lot of people um, are very new at this and sometimes we forget that um, to you know to show the very basic things that you need when you're starting to do resin art. Okay so I'm going to try and simplify things and just show you how I do it and hopefully you will um, you know it will be beneficial for you so stay tuned i'm going to go uh, prepare everything that i need and then be back with um everything pretty much what you need okay everybody here we are this is my little workstation here in my studio i like to be organized so i try to keep all my little things that I need for my resin art or my acrylic pouring so larger sticks the smaller sticks even these plastic knives are great um, even uh, these popsicle sticks and tiny little ones for smaller cups and um, scissors palette knife and my um, knife cups different sizes I've got a whole lot of them um, on my shelf but I like to have some spares here little cups they come in handy for small um, accents I have some gloves in here I use two types of gloves these ones are uh, multi-sensitive so because I have um, I'll show you my hand my, look at that very sensitive to latex so I use them but I, these first and then I pop these on top because I can just take them off and change my gloves without having to worry about these and these are more expensive so I try to preserve them and um, you will need uh, one of these gadgets to make sure that your surface is leveled and um, you will also need a substrate so whatever you choose to use this here is a lazy a glass lazy susan which i'm going to paint after this um, um, video so uh, you can also use stretched canvas um, or a, a mdf board timber pretty much anything that is um, nice and smooth and flat although i have poured um, over rocks and things like that but uh, if you want to have a really nice painting with uh, a result um, that you want it needs to be flat so you will need some sort of tape uh, painters tape is great to protect the underneath of your painting because the resin will slide under and then it's a bit of a bugger to get that off so what to use what to mix with resin um you can use acrylic paints this is just uh one of the ones that i used to use um just an acrylic paint i've just got one of each so i don't crowd my my surface here uh, this is another one you can use um mica pigments these are powders and there's some here these are really really great you can even use spray paint i've got several of these different ones different colors they're really great to use make sure you spray them in a cup first outdoors and then mix your resin immediately afterwards because they will it will uh, dry up very very quickly and then you'll have all these little lumps that you don't want you can use tinters or inks uh, this is just a brand that I've been using recently that I absolutely love um, and you can use epoxy pigments these are the metallic from the same Artisu brand and this is the epoxy once again just one of each so you can see you use you can use uh, oil paints very very I haven't got a price on there these are just the cheap oil paints that I bought by Montmartre I just want to test them out in 
my resin and they worked very 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 well and obviously you need your resin now this is um, two to one ratio so two parts of your resin and one oopsie okay it's okay I saved it <laughs> um, two parts of resin and one part of uh, your hardener that's this particular one you do have there are so many different um, brands of resin and they each do different things so do test them get the smaller amount and test them out and see what works best for you I also use alcohol wipes they're really good to clean your hands or clean your gloves um, this is just a little container that I have I usually put my my paints in there and I go collect I'll take this to my my um, paint station over here and then I choose my paint and just pop it into this little um, tray so it's nice and neat and tidy and I even can mix my paint to my resin right there so you know just to try and keep everything neat and tidy because cleaning up after resin is a bugger so there you have it I hope I remembered everything and I ha if I haven't um, do leave a comment in the box and ask me uh, another very important thing that you will need when doing resin art is a torch because you need to get the bubbles out uh, while you when you're mixing resin it creates a lot of bubbles and if you don't get those bubbles out they will uh, create these not very nice uh, things on your on your artwork so you need your torch to get rid of the bubbles I have a selection of torches here um, they all look very messy because I use them a lot um, different sizes these ones are really great you just buy this they usually come with the bottle and then once you're done you unscrew this one very easily and you just get a replacement one and pop that in these are great for larger um, larger pieces and you can also use a heat gun this is just a very inexpensive one that I bought at Bunnings, our hardware, hardware uh, store. It works really, really well as well. Some people only use the heat gun and some people only use the torch. I use both because you can get some really cool effects by using the heat gun. As you can see, this one as well has been used so many times and it's... Um, pretty messy but it does the job like I said does not have to be super expensive as long as it works because I know that it's going to get ruined by resin and paint and um, I don't like wasting money on things and then having to throw them away so okay guys so this corner here is my curing immediate curing uh, section I will pull this big container up so you can see underneath it I always okay so I've got plastic nice and clean um, I always wipe my container with alcohol wipes or any wipe that I have that doesn't have little bits uh, on them that can drop into the resin and cause trouble for me so if I have because I've only got one of these to apologize if I have um, another piece of art uh, that I want to put over to this side I can use this side and then I have this little wrapping paper or any paper that are stuck to the wall and then you can pull that over and sit it down here stick it on there or you can even get a canvas or something and stick it onto that and then when you're done it should roll back it should, <laughs> it should roll back in its spot it usually does but now i have this thing here so hold on just a second all right 
Okay, so I always keep this one down. That's uh, stopping anything from go going in there, any dust or anything like that. We don't want any dust, anything foreign in our resin. That's quite a large container, which uh, I bought at the hardware store on a super, super special because uh, one of the handles was broken just down here. I didn't worry about that because I will. I knew that I was going to use it for this purpose. Here I also have a, a curing, well, more like a resting rack because that's where the paintings um, end up after this uh, after this uh, part they go on here and they sit there for another day because I like to have them nice and um, well rested so because it, it keeps curing and then once um, that's done I make sure to clean the backs this one was done by my son-in-law he did a really really beautiful job and this was his first piece there you go look at that how beautiful is that for a first go but I have to take this tape off and then clean the sides so you want to do that pretty much after about two days 48 hours you don't want to do it straight away because once you start touching you your your resin it will leave fingerprint fingerprints and you don't want that okay so this is another thing I wanted to show you uh, this is just uh, a, a rack for a, you know resting your cake on or um, but they are very inexpensive to get at a $2 store or if you're in America probably a dollar store <laughs> and if you level your table well you can sit your resin or your acrylic art on there and um, the drips will just go through these little things little gaps so it's pretty handy to have so another thing that you can pour on uh, these CDs okay I haven't cleaned this one yet they make cute little clocks and you can do all kinds of designs on there this one was actually an, an acrylic pour which I resined over you can make some really really nice things with these and they also make good coasters too, I guess, if you don't mind the hole in the middle. So it's always, it's a good practice to have something extra when you're doing your uh, resin pouring. Because you will waste a lot of resin, but if you have something little um, on hand that you can just um, throw some, some resin on. Some of these were quite um, thick, but then you, you, you torch it and then um, they, they go nice and smooth like that, see? And this is just some glitter that I thought I might just sprinkle over the top of it and resin because it was wet. See that? Nothing comes up. Oh, okay, a couple of, couple of little ones. But you can resin over the top of that again if you want. But this was wet resin and I just sprinkled some glitter over it just to see what it's going to look like and just to give it some interest, some extra sparkle. Okay. So there you have it. Um, just remember when you are mixing your paint with resin, you don't want to put more than 10% into the resin because it will seize up. Some paints will cause the resin to dry up and, and start curing the curing process um, very, very quickly. And so it's always good to test tiny little bits of your paint 
in the resin and see how that works and if it's within you know 30 seconds or whatever of mixing it's still nice and and loose you can add some more paint but no more than 10 percent please um, because you will just ruin your resin you'll have to throw it away and then um, start again and um, so then wear a mask um, some people are allergic to resin and it's terrible. It is toxic no matter what the box or the bottle says. Uh, it's, it's a chemical and it is toxic, especially when you are burning it. So don't breathe in those, um, those fumes. Have your room ventilated. Um, remove all your pets from your working area while you are doing resin because they will breathe that in and it will affect their health as well. So... Be safe, guys. Gloves, um, a mask, a respirator would be ideal. So start small. Don't go and buy all of this stuff straight away. You know, see how 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 you like it, and um, get a couple of paints, get um, a resin, um, test it out, see if it works for you, and then. Um, when if you like it and you will either hate it or love it a lot of people who start with um, acrylic pouring hate resin because it's just so different it is very very different different medium completely um, so start small and um, see how you go don't stress too much it's meant to be fun and enjoyable and uh, if you um, if you like it, you can always get the rest of the stuff that you need later on. Okay, so enjoy painting. I hope this was useful, and I will see you in another video. Thanks so much. Bye for now. Oh, one last thing. Um, do join my group. It is a very very helpful group for especially newbies uh, with acrylic uh, painting and resin art. Uh, the group is called Fluid Art Community with Susanna Denks. It's a little bit simplified so people can find it nice and easy. Okay, bye for now.